What's happening, AC Nation? Zach Edwards here for another Stump the Creator. So I wanted to explain um, how this game works. So for those that are just joining us, I know there's a few people that have joined on recently. So when you have a question, write it down. Email it to me. If you title it Stump the Creator, I will not read it. Actually, my assistant will read it, but then she'll send it to me, and I won't read it. I'll put it into a file until I have a few of them together so I can answer some of them together and also um, answer at one time. Because right now there's conventions going on, so I'm like every other weekend I'm gone. Um, I'm also in a, uh, a whole bunch of other things that we're doing. Hopefully soon we'll know about the grants um, that we have for the Department of Education to put together some new technology. It's never been done before. Guaranteed you're gonna love this stuff um, when it comes out. So it's not even actually supposed to be out. The trials will start in a year. Well, it'll start in eight months. That's a, their deadline. The grant is for eight months. Then the finalization is like another year and a half to finish it. So this is going to be fun. Um, but because of this, I do all these questions at the same time. So hopefully that, that you're okay with that. We have them basically twice a week. And uh, yeah, just wanted to let you know how this works. So you send us a question, we're gonna answer it. I don't look at them beforehand, so I might stumble over some of the reading. Um, I was actually, back when I was younger, I had a really big issue with reading. And it was resolved and not resolved at the same time. Um, I still have some mental, we'll call them mental blocks when it comes to reading. And um, it, let me give you a little story. So back when I was, in like elementary school. I had kids make fun of me of my, my reading abilities. Um, come to find out I actually need, I should have had glasses. Uh, but I didn't know it at the time and so I read as well as I could have. I also didn't like reading, so I didn't read as much. Well, that was my problem. I'm the one that didn't want to read. I didn't practice reading. My parents did everything they could to get me to read. I just didn't want to do it. I'd rather be on screens. Yes, there were screens back there, All right? I bought my family their first computer. So I want to be on computer games and some of the first ones that ever came out. And I want to be on um, on the TV. Or they would kick me out of the house and I'd have to go play outside, which is, I love playing and catching snakes and selling them and doing all these other entrepreneurial things too. But it did come to a point where I never really strengthened my reading skills, so it affects me now. So if I stumble over these questions, it's because I haven't read them before. And it's also because I have some sort of mental block that still happens these days. So if you struggle with reading, it's okay, it happens. But do what you can right now to overcome that. Because when you get to be my age, uh, I, I still read fine. I'm not negative about the way I read, but it's after a lot of work to get there. Because when I was an adult and I wasn't reading, I was having a really big issue because I went years without really picking up a book. So don't do that. Pick up a book, read, it will help you in the future. Um, or you can just wait till you get to an adult, spend a lot of money and a lot of time trying to correct what you didn't correct when you were a kid. So just give you a little heads up of what happens. Okay, now we're back to Stump the Creator. Okay, now that we've cut off totally left field on a rant, we're going back to Simeon. And this is Simeon's list of death. He's going to try to stump me this time. Um, he has gotten an honorable mention already. So, uh, actually, him and his sister have. So has uh, uh, Forrest has also. Connor and Mason and a few of the others, Luke, have gotten really close. So, keep trying. Let's see if Simeon can get me this time. He actually breaks this, it looks like three different paragraphs. So, I don't know if it's the same question or how it's broken down, so let's find out. Hi, Simeon again. Do you know of any card or combo that counters Harry Tubman after her effect happens? Okay, so her effect, she play, someone plays the card, nobody counters it, it keeps going. Okay, now let's go to Harry Tubman. Going to my encyclopedia, it says, interrupt. There is peace in your civilization and no opponent may play any card against you or attack your land for one round. Okay, it's only for one round. Uh, let's see. Cannot play any card against you. 
Okay, that means my whole civilization. Can't play a card that's gonna affect my civilization, including Harriet Tubman. So technically, from just what it says there, no card can affect it. So you say, do you know any card or combo that counters Harriet Tubman and her, her effect, effects happening? Her effect happens. After her effects happens. That's why I could, it didn't make sense. Okay, so Harriet Tubman, interrupt. There is peace in your civilization. Okay, no card counters peace, um, especially after it's established. And no opponent may play any card, any card, any card, any combo, because it's still a car, one card at least, uh, against you or attack your land for one round. Nope, there is no way to do it. Technically. Now I'm guessing you can find, you probably have a, a combination that could actually do this. Um, but that, that's not a stump, that's just reading the rules. That no card can play against them, can play against you. Which is her in the civilization. So if it said her and there was another card, then that would, wouldn't apply because it was just on the her card. But it's on you and your game. So that does apply to her. Okay. Uh, do cards that are played before Harriet Tubman is still able to affect her like Simoeha? Good question. Uh, and no opponent may play any card against you or attack your land for one round. So if you were playing the abilities before she was played, well, she would interrupt it. No card can be played after she plays this, and this is an interrupt. So no, if the card is in play and you haven't used the ability against her, so you haven't already done the act, then no, technically, you're not supposed to be able to. Uh, it says, suppose I play 1.0 Sniper Vasile uh, Zaitsev. Zaitsev. Before player B plays Harriet Tubman, Harriet, Harriet's power goes into effect. Then on B's turn, he attacks player C. <clears throat> Can I use my sniper to shoot Harriet? Well, no. So just because the card is in play before or after, it's not being played against them until it's actually played against them. So let's see, it says, let's bring back the 1.0 sniper. Vesili? What is it? Yeah, Vesili. So, Vasily, where are you? Vasily. Maybe it's because he's not in here, Vasily. He's up here somewhere. Vasily is on the back side. Let's go to the back side. Okay, coming back here. No, Vasily. Where? It's me, Vasily. Oh. Actually, is he, in one point of is he marked as an assassin or something else? Let's see, he's not army, he's not an activist. Not army, spy. He's not a spy in there. Huh. Where is Vasily? Vasily. That is a good question. I'm trying to remember. Vasily. Well, at least I know what his car looks like. He is the snow. Hopefully, I'm not missing another card. Still looking, still looking. He's not a leader, is he? I don't think I would have put him as a leader. Hmm. Not a location, not a musician, not an organization, not an outlaw. Where is he? Vasily. Not a spiritual leader. Oh, I think I went to the wrong place. 
Versus Sealy. No, I did go to the right place. No, that was Seema Erha that I was thinking. Vasili. Huh. Okay, let's see. Either way, it should not be able to be played. So I had the wrong sniper that I was looking for. Hmm. I'm gonna have to search this one out, see. Uh, as I told you, I don't look at these beforehand, which is why sometimes I have to do this and then search out the Sealy. It's not a stump, it's more of a where is a card. I know who you're talking about. He's the Russian sniper. With his hat, face. No, that's. That's Simo Eha. I'm gonna have to look up his image. Because as of right now, I do not have it. So let's do this. Okay, I'm gonna bring you over here while I look this up. And I'm gonna make this the last question while I get this done. Huh. Okay. Let's find out Vasile. Turning on my. Whew. Yeah, that's a pretty picture, huh? <laughs> okay. Uh, let's go into my database. Come on. Now you have to find out how it's spelled again. Ah. Vasili. Vasili. What? No. Okay, working on it. It's working on it. Sniper of Vasily. Yeah, I knew what he looked like. Where is his card, though? So let's open this card. Oh, that's a 2.0 card. Is this 1.0? There we go, 1.0. Okay, here we go. I'm going to show you this screen. There he is. Okay, so it says interrupt. After a battle is declared, uh, Zaitsek, Zaitsev, this does not want to work with me. Work with me. There we go. Stay. Uh, sends one character from the attacking land into the discard pile. Well, after a battle, there's no battle. So he wouldn't be able to, because it says after a battle is declared. You can't declare battle if there's a if there's peace. So she brought peace. You can't do a, a declare battle because hers would supersede this because no card can affect. Um, so the next card next question says, can I use my sniper to shoot Harriet? No, no, you cannot. Can you think of a way of which every player can tie at infinite morale? Well, yeah, I mean, this depends. Are you talking about in a tournament or in home play? Because if in a tournament, no, because you're getting rid of Babbage. Babbage, oops. Babbage is the one that gives you the uh, undoing the morale cap. So if, it's, if Babbage is in play, which is not allowed in the tournaments, he's been blacklisted. Ah, this is horrible. Okay. He's been blacklisted. So you would not be able to have an infinite increase in morale. Because he's the only card that I know of that allows you to break the morale uh, barrier. So in a tournament, no, it's not possible. In a regular game, 
yes, it is possible at home because you would use Babbage to uh, get rid of your, um, let's see, get rid of your morale cap. Then you, you would use Amos Fortune. Mm. Oh, he's on the other side right now. Uh, Amos Fortune to bring people from your, your deck. But remember, I also put in there the rule that you can only bring someone back to life one time. So you can play them, and then you bring them back to life, and that's it. You can't keep doing it. There's no infinites in this. So we've broken that barrier. So no, you cannot have an infinite morale uh, increase in a tournament. In a home game, it depends on your house rules. But in a tournament where we control the rules, no, you cannot. Because Babbage only allows you to undo the, the cap, then you can use Amos Fortune and revive him once. Uh, you can have Harriet Tubman that keep people from decreasing your morale or playing against you, but that's it. So we didn't blacklist the cards. We just basically used, said that we can't use Babbage in the, um, in the game. The reason why Babbage's uh, card is so powerful is because it was a CYOC, a create your own card contest, where the player came up with the rules um, it doesn't mean that we can not, we can, it means we can actually still blacklist it from the tournaments. It's not from regular gameplay. You guys play with it as, if you want, otherwise take it out if you want. Um, Anus Fortune is also one that's questionable, but you can only bring them back to life one time. So, yeah, hopefully that helps. And, uh, we will finish this up next time because we've already gone way over time. That's the first section of Simeon's questions. Hopefully we'll get the next two next time. Thank you so much. Talk to you soon. Bye. If you have any comments or questions, add them to the comments below. Otherwise, we'll see you next. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Actually, take care. Bye.